So next, I'm really glad and, and proud to introduce a great friend and our 28th mayor of Long Beach, Dr. Robert Garcia. As mayor, he's taken a leadership role in economic development, sustainability, and investing in technology. He's committed to attack, attracting tech and green jobs, creating new educational partnerships, and making our government more efficient. Please help me welcome Mayor Robert Garcia. Good morning. Uh, it's great to see uh, so many friends out here in the audience this morning, and it's always a pleasure to come to these breakfasts. They're, they're always special. They always bring together some really great people who are doing really great work, and so thank you for being here this morning. I want to say uh, two things this morning. Uh, the first is I want to thank all of you and, of course, CCEJ for the incredible work that you all do around supporting people around being compassionate, about being people that believe in their faith and their values and that choose to use those values for the common good. We all know that sometimes things in our community, in our country, in Washington and here locally can be difficult for some, but I think it's always important as this organization does every single day to remind everyone in our community that they're loved, that they're respected, that they're good people, and that we should always support each other. This organization knows so well that it doesn't matter the color of your skin, it doesn't matter whether you were born here in this country or like myself as an immigrant, whether you are LGBTQ, whether you are straight, whether you are a Muslim American, whether you're a Jewish, whatever your religious beliefs are, whatever your values are, whoever you love, if you are a good person, if you have compassion in your heart, no matter whether you are trying to pull yourself out of being homeless or whether you're succeeding at your workplace with your family, we're all in this together. And so I hope that you all join me in giving CCEJ a big round of applause for the work that they do every single day. It's also an honor for me this morning to be able to recognize a very special individual. We all know, of, and he's been discussed tonight, about Gene's incredible contributions to this community. As we all know, Gene Lenser is the backbone of CCEJ. He has been a community presence for as long as most of us have been involved in the city of Long Beach. In the 1980s, Long Beach quickly be became, as you all know, the Cambodian capital of the United States. And as Cambodians fleed genocide and sought refuge in our country as refugees, Jean was there working with the community to help in this important transition. During that time, Jean believed that Long Beach and the community could do more, that we had to accept the fact that these refugees needed our help and that the United States of America and Long Beach would be a place that would welcome them, work with them, and help them seek refuge. Jean's faith and personal values brought people together to welcome folks and others with open arms. His exceptional work in human relations as you all know, started at a grassroots level and has moved on to the highest levels of leadership. His work as part and really as a visionary for this organization has impacted every community across the city. Which brings me to why we're gathered here today. We're here to celebrate our diversity, our love, our beliefs, all of which has been supported by Gene and his family for many, many years. And I can tell you that as uh, an immigrant, as mayor of someone, or as, as someone that uh, I think represents, I hope what the city is, is all about, uh, I'm really honored that Gene has done so much for our community. Uh, this year, Gene celebrates actually two special anniversaries. First is 40 years of volunteer work and leadership to CCEJ, and 95 amazing years on this blessed planet.
Now, I, I will tell you that Jean still constantly sends me little emails. So I will get little messages from Jean uh, often. Uh, most are positive, I will say. And so I appreciate, I appreciate his advice and his mentorship. And for this reason, and in recognition of his work to CCEJ, we're going to be presenting Gene with a special proclamation from the city today for his longstanding commitment to religious inclusivity, for his incredible work in bringing people together, for his amazing re responsibility and his love of country and community, and to bring those that need our help and integrate them as part of our family. So Gene, thank you for your continued education to ensuring, to ensuring that Long Beach is truly a city for everyone. Let's give Gene a big round of applause, and I know we're gonna have him uh, come on up here. I can do it. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me? Good. First, I want to thank uh, Mayor Garcia for honoring me with this meaningful award from the, uh, the city I do love. And I also want to take this opportunity to share this honor with CCEJ, its dedicated staff, its incredible members, whose mission to eliminate bias, bigotry, and prejudice made much of what was achieved possible. I also want to take this opportunity to thank my family, especially my wife of over 65 years. For those of you who do not know, uh, she has been my editor-in-chief of all my speeches throughout my career. <laughs> and I will tell you that the greatest things I've ever said never got to be spoken because she said you already said that. <laughs> I also want to thank my two dedicated uh, children, they're really adults and wonderful, both physicians, and my brother who has been my partner for over 60 years in business, and his wife Judy, who are also great community workers. In addition, I want to tell all of you who are here today how pleased I am that for 26 years, Large audiences, over a thousand people at a time, have come together so early in the morning to be with people of different faiths, different backgrounds, and different cultures. What a great statement that makes about our community. And finally, I want to thank all of you for uh, being here to help celebrate my 95th birthday. An event, an event I thought I would never, never see. And thank everybody. Uh, I want to thank all of you. Do you have 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jean. Happy birthday to you. Right. And many more. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Garcia, and of course, thank you so much to Jean.